Hello everyone, a special video about the Blizzard game, especially the economical system from where they start and where they end in the future. Of course, I'll speak about Diablo 4, Diablo Immortal, but also the games that they released previously and what's coming for the next years. So I started this list since 1994, I didn't speak about the arcade game a bit before like The Lost Vikings. And during that time we are on something very classic, for example we have the box for Starcraft, for Warcraft and so on. So basically you just buy the game and you can have an extension or two on some games. Of course one game is not following at all, it's World of Warcraft where you need every month to spend money if you wish to play the game. In 2008, you have the merging of Blizzard and Activision. Yet, the two following games, StarCraft 2 and Diablo 3, will be on the same economical model as before. Just for StarCraft 2, you have a new thing. Blizzard directly mentioned two extensions for that in order to ensure the perennity of the game. We'll need to wait for 2014 in order to have a new business model, so of course, there was an influence from Activision, but it's hard to say in which measure. From 2012, it's mostly trend models and Blizzard love to try it. They launch Hearthstone with free to play and card boosting, Heroes of the Storm with free to play and skins, and Overwatch being partial buy because you can buy the game but after you need to buy skins. It's also time for remastering with Starcraft, Warcraft 3 and Diablo 2 resurrected but in their case they remain as the same model as before, you fully buy the game. Starting from 2022, the first point is profitability. As you know, in Diablo Immortal, they made it very aggressive for players to spend money on it. And we have the same model as Overwatch on Diablo 4, where you need to buy the game, which is quite pricey, but also, if you wish to have skins, spend additional money on it or purchase the battle pass. In 2023, we'll also have the opportunity to play to Warcraft Rumble, which should most likely have the same economical model as Hearthstone. There's one game which is not in the list, it's of course Overwatch 2, because it takes the same model as Heroes of the Storm, which is top develop, in where you can buy skins but remain free to play. So the big question is what's next for the Blizzard game. First, it's the first time that nothing is coming for Blizzard in the next year. I mean, there won't be StarCraft 3, Warcraft 4, Diablo 5, and so on, nothing very big except their survival game which has not been announced yet. Otherwise, no big surprise to come. It's also interesting to see that the war system has never been used again. They have probably considered the question on Diablo 4, but they choose to not use it. We will probably not have this system in the upcoming years. Lastly, Blizzard knows that they have a very big fan base on the Diablo series, that means that they can do almost what they want with the price, they'll always have players who want to play the games. That's one of the reasons it's different from the Overwatch 2 system. In the end, if you want to fully play Blizzard game, you'll need to spend money. You won't have the opportunity, as in the past, to spend 30 euros and to have a full game. We just need to hope that this money is well spent, for example, in supporting the games as they do on World of Warcraft. Thanks for watching this video and as usual, feel free to share your thoughts on the comments. Bye bye!